To create a grid, first of all click on the New Grid icon on the top toolbar. This has three tabs. The first tab allows you to set the number of rows and columns for your grid. You can also set the style of your grid, whether it contains both symbols and text, or whether it is just for text. If you choose just text, you will see the shapes of the cells changes to reflect the fact that you don't need space for the symbols. You can also choose whether you want to automatically add a Send the Cell Contents action to each cell. You can of course edit this individually later on. The second tab affects the appearance of the grid. I can change the background colour of all of the cells. I can change the line colour. I can change the effect to have a solid background, a curved, thick curved line around the outside, no effect, or as is the normal default, a shadow. The border width affects the distance between each of the cells, so I can make the cells closer or further apart as I wish and similarly the line thickness allows me to choose the emphasis around the outside and the corner radius allows me to make curved or square corners. The linked cells colour is the colour that is automatically applied if you link one cell to another grid. The last tab allows you to give the grid a name although you can give this name later on if you wish to and if you wish to write any notes for your own information about the grid. When I click create a thumbnail of that grid is now attached to my mouse pointer and I can position that grid on the stage. The next videos will look at how you manipulate a grid that you have already made by changing the sizes the numbers of rows and columns and the appearance of individual cells.